Welcome back to my channel. I'm Queen Vic and I have to back up just a bit. I realized I had so much fun material from our two nights at the castle that I decided to break the castle vlog up into two parts. So instead of this vlog of England being three parts, now it's four parts. Are you confused? Because I'm confused. Anyway, Welcome to part two of our England adventure. Today we check into the castle and we tour the grounds and we have an incredible dinner. So join us and let's check this place out. Let's go. Once we checked in at reception, we were informed that we had been upgraded to a suite named for King Henry's fourth wife, Catherine of Aragon. We were then escorted to our room fit for a queen. Look how sweet this is. Oh my God, look at the, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> We'll see some slow gin just on the on the table over there for you. Some more, um, slow, slow gin. gin. Oh, thank you. So, Can I see that? Yeah, of course. It's just behind the piece of card. <gasps> Look at that. Hold we're that. All, we're so excited about that. <laughs> oh okay. my God. This um, is that's so... a local gin that's made here in Thornbury. So it's oh, it is. So it's just amazing. made in the, in the village. There's a mini bar just underneath the television, and that's got fresh milk for your teas and coffees, but obviously oh. everything else um, on checkout. Yeah. How happy are we that we're here? Yay. Oh my God, look at this door. Look at the door. It has that cool thing on it. And the chandelier. This is so fun. This is worth every moment of getting here. <laughs> Ooh, look at that little crawl space. Romy could have slept there. <laughs> Since this hotel has been newly renovated, everything is really fresh. The bathroom is well lit modern and spacious. The shower was fabulous with amazing water pressure. Every amenity is well placed. We had a safe, hair dryer, iron, full length mirror, everything you need for a comfortable visit. After getting settled in our room, we had a little time before our dinner reservation and decided to walk the grounds. From the fountain in the middle of the courtyard, to the simple gardens behind the castle, this was just the fresh promenade we needed after a long day of travel. Well, until we startled some very large birds that very much startled us. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we scared a bird away. We're like wimps. They're like crows or something. You probably are crows. Next, we took a quick peek inside the castle. However, as we were headed in, we noticed some random little steps to the left of the entrance to reception. These steps are referred to as a mounting block designed to make it easier to get onto your horse so you do not have to hoist yourself from the ground into the saddle. Maybe even used by the king himself. Excited to explore inside, we started in the lounge, a warm, beautiful area you just want to spend the day in. The library right off the lounge is also stunning. Next, we checked out the dining hall where we would have dinner later and the breakfast area for the morning. As we headed into the castle for dinner, we heard the ringing of church bells. What a wonderful welcome into the dining room. It turns out it was local youngsters at the church practicing how to properly ring the bells for special occasions. It's also important to note that Kenneth Bell, a world famous chef, owned Thornbury Castle for over 20 years. 
His enthusiasm for Mediterranean and French cooking was celebrated at the castle that he ran successfully as a restaurant and as a hotel. He is celebrated on the walls of the castle currently right by the restaurant. As we arrived at the dining room for dinner, we quickly realized we had the room nearly to ourselves. There was only one other couple in there who was getting married the next day at the castle. For our first course, we have the chef's selection or amused bouche of carrot soup with toasted sesame seeds. It was absolutely incredible. Thank you. Next up on our three course meal, the first course soon followed. I had salmon and Lulu had ravioli. For our second course, I had the pork and Lulu had buffalo mozzarella with beets. Both of them were outstanding. For the third and final course of our dinner, I opted for a decadent rich chocolate and Lulu got a rhubarb and cream dessert. Both were absolutely divine. 